What is going on guys? How are you all guys all doing today? So this week's nightfall is actually surprisingly easy. It's the Armsdale Dealer Nightfall. Now the reason why it's easy is due to it being burned and the way how you get time is killing enemies. But I'm going to compile this video together, show you guys some tips and tricks to make this just a little bit easier for you guys. How you can save time, get lots of time, where to use supers and things like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, this might seem pretty simple to some of you guys, but make sure you have a weapon that has every single burn. So for example, as you guys can see here, I have a void subclass, I have an auto rifle with arc burn, and then I have the merciless for solar burn. So you want one of each burn in your class it's just just gonna make things much easier as you can get the damage off straight away as you guys can see switches to arc i pull out my auto rifle now moving on as soon as you guys get out of the store there's gonna be a big ship that you guys want to focus fight on so i can see that it's still arc polarization so as soon as you blow up the ship it's actually gonna stop spawning ads as you guys can see in flies in right here now i'm actually the only one shooting this out of my team but as you guys can see i'm um, just switched to solar here and the merciless does manage to pick off a ship now this is gonna help you guys out a lot at the start in order to save a lot of time moving into the next tip that i have for you guys this relic here um you want to pick up the charge right now and basically just run all the way and smash it in and then run back to your teammates this is going to save you a lot of time because a lot of ads do spawn up at the top if you guys aren't fast as you guys can see i've kind of failed with the invis there i thought i was going to fall off the map as well but my teammates were hanging back killing the ads i run ahead and slam the charge now this saves a lot of time as you can see all the ads there it's just going to basically make things much easier allowing three of us to shoot all the ads instead of me hanging back with the relic and them having to track me once again a little um cheeky little time saver here um in this little area in the area where you guys just smash the charge as well a bit later on a ship does fly in you can blow it up if you want to my teammates are pretty oblivious to it but this thing does shoot big rockets at you as you guys can see there that can take you out very quickly but my teammates did advance making the ship fly away but just a little bit of a tip if you see a ship make sure you shoot them as a team less ads are going to spawn and you can move on to the other areas much much more. Now this little tip is going to save you a lot of time. Once you guys come out of this area, get into the sunken isles, you want to go ahead and jump on your sparrow. This is going to save you so, so much time and I highly recommend doing this if you're going for the rat king if you still have yet to get it. So as you can see, hop on your sparrow, go to the corner, jump up and basically just get on your sparrow again. Now you can go through the whole of this bit on your sparrow, saving so, so much time. Yep, yep, okay, I did go the wrong way. I admit that okay but yeah basically just keep on your sparrow until you're gonna come against the tank now the tank is very simple just look at what burns up and the tank is gonna drop if it's solar whack out on merciless if it's arc dubious volley what if coil and um, it's basically gonna melt the tank. what I do recommend at this bit is you have one guy on the bottom level who accesses the terminal and then the other two go up to the top level and focus on the so once you've got your tank to low health, as you guys can see, just blown up there with the Merciless. My two teammates are up here damaging the other tank. This saves a lot of time once again. Basically, all these tips are just time-saving tips. Um, and then I'm going to help them out with this tank, but luckily it's already very, very weak. And the Merciless making very, very little of that tank indeed. So basically, from here through the start, this is where you're going to want to use your supers because there's going to be plenty and plenty of ads here so make sure you're looking at the burn and then never use your super if the burn is not that so never use say like arc strider if it's solar burn because it's just it's just pointless it really is so once this door opens that seems to take 
forever in the nightfall basically lots and lots of enemies are gonna spawn so it's solar however i do have orpheus rig so i'm looking for a lots of groups of enemies now to get my tether back basically instantly so as you guys can see here orpheus rig doing what it does best and we get our tether back straight away there. so if you tell your teammates to use their soup as well um, you're gonna get through this area very very quickly indeed very quickly indeed and then it's gonna be the boss so there's a few phases for the boss um, but you guys can damage him on and I'll show you those right now so we do get very unlucky at this bit as you guys are going up the lift you want to damage him as much as you can as you can see it's solar burn and we are very very happy with it and then it changes to void burn void burn is probably the worst thing to dps on unless you're like a nova bomb or something like that but basically this first phase you can get a lot a lot of damage off you can even kill him before he jumps up onto his little platform but unfortunately we just didn't get the damage in we were all expecting it to be solar but unfortunately it did change to void i'll show you another phase right now all right so once you slam in the first charge into here he's going to jump off his platform and go back into the middle so you want all your teammates to be grouped up at this bit and you can damage him like crazy get the supers going get everything popping off at this bit get your golden guns your nova bombs your axe riders your slams you can pretty much take him out at this bit but unfortunately for me my teammate died and also extremely unfortunately for me i lost connection to the servers at this point so so unfortunate it really really is but basically you can just take him out at this bit it's very very simple indeed just focus on him try not to forget about the ads because you should have a lot of time left at this bit as you can see we have seven minutes we could have even got more time if things ran a little bit more smoothly but that's going to be it from me guys so hope you guys did enjoy if you did drop a like i really really would appreciate that i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace